Őt mindenképp folytatjuk a Hogwarts legacy Tehát végre van seprőm, amit tudok használni, hogy tudjak rövidíteni az úton. Hülye! You're back. Nice to see you again. Ah, that's a good. Damn, boss, cuts. So what? I stole a donkey. I'm just getting terrible at it. Who is really the puto cat? Mindy could do your most time. De amire továbbra is szükség az aló mórák képessége, hogy minden ajtót meg is sok magam előtt. Így szíves már, ne szórakozz velem! Na, de ez Keeper. Kérdjük ezzel! Hogy már abban egyedzés! Következő ugye ez.
can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue pants. It's like a place where them. Shay Bardolf thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. You may do the dish. Excuse me, did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They there, seem too. to be everywhere. Why did Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive or worse. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper, one that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Excuse me, Mrs. Sprottle. Any news on Bardolf Beaumont's disappearance? Afraid not. I've spoken with Claire. Still worried sick about her brother. He was last seen heading towards the forest with one of Victor Rookwood's lot. Hey, Angie, Marky. Expelliarmus. Levioso. Accio. Repairer. Papa Gold Warner, who never get.
How nice to see you, my young friend. So it won't. Szóval a tűzzel szabad csak támadni. Közebb kell mennem hozzá, így valahogy. Na, de jó van, hogy erre forduljuk. Bassza meg! Is that Inferius wearing a woolly jumper? That must be Bardolf. Why are you? Incendio. Incendio. Dizem nós passam é. Vai, 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 incendio. Tak jsem ti to bankleje to hodně. Ne, 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 Most lehet, hogy sír, hogy hova van pont valami. Jó. Köszönjük. Kérdés az mondja, mert az igazat. Hát el se igazat mondtam neki. De ez elég nehéz döntés ám. Mindenképpen. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Madam Beaumont, I believe I have some news of your brother. Adolf? What do you know of my brother? I'm afraid he's joined the Ashwinders and has no interest in returning. But what No, no, this can't be. He was seeking their advice, that's all. I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madam Beaumont. <laughs> I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. 
My apologies. I've not been myself since we last met. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. It's Ranrock I have to thank for losing Bardolf. If only I could somehow rid our Hamlet of these monsters. I'm simply at my wit's end. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists yeah, in each camp. Anything. I won't go near them. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hawksfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. I can't believe he's never coming home. Part of me wants to avenge the loss of my brother. Whilst another part of me simply wants to hide. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. Eu vou só petrificar os tutalos. Como isso que é, os que já me peguem e deixam com eles e já estavam. Um dos Ranrock's campos, exatamente como a Madame Beaumont descreveu. Os wizards estão correndo escondido, como eles deveriam ser. Não há! Olha a sestra! Está meio triste. Wizards are running scared, <laughs> as they should be. <sighs> Feels like I've been at this for hours. Mm. Wizards are running scared, <laughs> as they should be. Hi, oh, Mom, I to cut you. Get them all, Mohammed. Traffic is totalis. Now, all right, Balcott. No, I'm not good. I guess I sent to the two more comments. You ought to cut back on pudding. Mistook you for a troll the other day. Human to worry about. How nice of you to stop by. <laughs> That's not as any assassination, like <laughs> so called Some perfect death assassination. Fancy I'll have my own operation worked out one day. People working for me. So so cosodni. Hold your seat, stress of good joke. Slow down, babe. Lobster is totalis. That's all I can. That's never something I detected. 
<laughs> Assassination. I have a brother who works at Gringotts. <laughs> Couldn't pay me enough to sit behind a desk. Or... Hello? Oh, the rock oil. The traffic is don't tell us. Who's there? Yo, one thing gone. You do one. That's what you do. Oh, he's my fair assassination. One more to go. Forces. Fuck. The host is in some collateral. Collateral, but not in the land. Bring me a dozen humans to battle. I'll take them all. Run the other way when they see me, humans do. Every time. <laughs> One less human to worry about. How nice of you to stop by. <laughs> oh, yes. I will give you a cup of mushroom tea. Who's that? <laughs> Opa, opa. Oh, I could do with a nice mushroom stew about now. Randmark has fooled you all, to your demise. Both camps cleared. Adam Beaumont will be glad to hear that. Now this is undetected mode. I can't see that. Who can't see that? 
Tipo Vácsa az Assassin's Creed-et is. Hello, Madame Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? I managed to catch them off guard. Oh, I wish my brother could have done what you did. Perhaps he'd still be with me now. I'm especially grateful. You did for Badolf what I could not. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. Yes, I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. What do you have for sale? What are you looking for? Thank you. Since Badolf, an Ashwinder. Perhaps I will see him again. Marvelous. I could always use more of these. That's so Thank you for passing through. Bardo, an Ashwinder. Perhaps I will see him again. Vai vai vir então isso aqui. Não, já lá. Fui com a assassinação. On another adventure, are we? Would you mind helping a poor old witch? No. Rebellion. Who lived here, I wonder? Travel broadens the mind. Okay, okay, back to the. 
Vamos a animar este muy idea. Itt nem lehet. És jó messze van. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Enron's vision of goblins ruling over wizards will be
What are you up? Wonder who lives here. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Is there any doubt on the involvement? Oh, Milo, what am I to do? Is there something I can help you with, Mr... Adley. Edgar Adley. Uh, no. No, I don't think so. The last Milo and his mad schemes. Milo? He was my friend. Came to me a few days ago with a brilliant plan to make some quick galleons. All I had to do was follow him into the Forbidden Forest. Had I had known he wanted to procure venom from a living Acromantula. Oh, poor Milo. He didn't deserve to go like that. Sounds like Milo knew exactly what he was in for, and risked your life as well. No, no. M Milo wouldn't have thought that way. He wasn't a bad wizard, merely a bit overconfident at times. I can't think of it. Milo's body is still in that cave with the absconder. The absconder? Aye, Milo's name for the acromantula. He did have a flair for the dramatic. <laughs> in fact, as he died, Milo begged me to take his heirloom pocket watch. I saw that his daughter right, would have yeah, something so to remember in mind, but I... I fled. Why would someone risk their life for spider venom? As a potion ingredient, acromantula venom is incredibly valuable. In large part because it is... as Paul Milo has proven, impossible to get from a live acromantula. If I have time, I can try to collect the heirloom watch, Mr. Adley. You can't possibly go to the Acromantula's cave. You'd be killed. Please, I forget I said anything. Még valami. Itt van, hogy javasolt szint. Tehát, ami nincs, hogy még az a szint, addig ne is próbálkozzatok.
Here's a pleasant surprise. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased. What needs doing, needs doing. Is everything all right? If the Hamlet sent you here to talk to me about... About... I know what I have to do. It's not every day a girl has to put down her own troll. I should be allowed to work up to it. What do you mean, your own troll? I the troll, yeah. thought that's why you were here. I'm sorry. I suppose if you spend enough time with trolls, you forget your manners. I'm Alexandra. I didn't mean to be short with you. With Ranrock's lot seemingly everywhere, I thought the Hamlet could use a bit more security. <sighs> but my plan has gone awry. I apologized when he almost trampled half the Hamlet yesterday. He just needs more time. But everyone wants him gone. They think it's mad, my training a troll. Impossible, even. And today, it's only you, my troll. I'm inclined to agree with them. Trolls are dangerous creatures. I know. I know. But I had to try. I suppose I understand why everyone's been so concerned. What made me think I could train him? I should have learned from Barnabas the Barmy. But he's my troll and my problem. I'll be honest. I'm afraid I won't be able to take care of him. He's stronger than any troll I've ever encountered. I wish I knew someone else who could do it. What exactly were you training the troll to do? I was hoping to train him to serve as protection for us. Frankly, I struggled to teach him even a word or two. Couldn't give him even a semblance of self-control. Who's Barnabas the Balmy? Surely you've seen the tapestry of him at Hogwarts. It hangs in the seventh floor corridor. He allegedly tried to train trolls for the ballet. You can imagine how that turned out. No. I'm not thrilled at the prospect, but I'll consider it. Oh, no. I didn't mean to suggest that you should do it. In fact, you should avoid the area just southwest of here. At least until I work up the courage to do what needs to be done. Control. Control. Troll on the loose near a hamlet. That could be devastating. What do you have in store for me this time? Hello. Might you have time to help with an urgent delivery? You sound as if you could use some help. Oh, yes, I could. Eddie Thistlewood's the name. A dear friend of mine in Feldcroft is at his wit's end due to the relentless attacks on his hamlet by Ranrock and his loyalists. I sent two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages to help, but they've gone missing. You sent crates of cabbages to battle Ranrock's loyalists? I did indeed. You see, I know plants, and I believe the goblins will be so irritated by the onslaught of ferocious vegetation, they'll simply leave Feldcroft alone. 
I wonder if you might track the two crates down and deliver their contents to my friend Bernard Indiai. I simply can't leave my shop at present. Why did the Goggins target Feldcroft? My friend Bernard says they've been seen in the area for a while. He seems to think they're looking for something, but lately they've become more aggressive. Could you not grow or buy more Chinese chomping cabbages? I suppose I could, but that would take time. Time we do not have, what with Ranrock's thugs posing new threats every day. Besides, it's the principle of the matter. I grew those cabbages, and they are extraordinary. Any idea where I might find the crates? Yes. From what I hear, one was spotted south of Feldcroft. The other, so I hear, is south of Brockborough, near the river. Very well, sir. I shall keep an eye out for two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, thank you. I shall let Bernard know he might be receiving those cabbages after all. What do you have for sale? I'm convinced that Feldcroft will be much safer with Chinese chomping cabbages defending them. Sounds like Feldcroft's in trouble. Perhaps I should try to help. That ought to serve you nicely. Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. A Daniel is the Mickey Dobby Nemplok, man, to our Chigidai. Tehát még ezt csináljuk meg, ezt az egyet.
off on another adventure, are we? You're good, but... Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. The script had tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. That's your advice. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named well, it the We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found That's this place? Job, no, it. someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. Why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. So the Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. So I could got them talking to them. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Most már nem kell többet használnom az incendiót. Ez tökéletes. 
You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Okay. Confringo! Nice work. How does it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it! I think I've got it. Well done. Is this okay, sir? Why I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time yeah, Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is you exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. Like... It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. Yeah, well, no. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Okay. Hello, oh, Sebastian. What's up, mate? Wait. You there? What's up? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. No, I don't Not even precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. 
And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. De engem nem hibáztathat ezért. <sighs> Oké, okay, mennyi elég is. Ezzel folytatjuk. Ment is. Ennyi volt.